it's maybe it's video miss may is uh, a better title for what I've been doing than vlog miss. Hello friends, Mermaid Megan here. It's day 12 of Vlogmas and today we're just gonna do a little chatty check-in and talk about kind of a Spotify wrapped of the year 2022. So let's start with Vlogmas. So we are halfway through, well technically halfway through once I upload this video, but we're gonna count it as halfway through Vlogmas. Um, I'm not gonna be uploading a video on Christmas Day, that's just a lot. Um, well, maybe future Megan can change her mind on that one, but probably not. Um, it's been really fun. I really do enjoy creating content. I have always been a very creative person and knew for a long time that I wanted a job in something creative and all of my other jobs are creative. I've been a dance teacher. I have done live entertainment, like for parties, for shows. Um, and now obviously with being a professional mermaid, it's also a very artistic, creative field. So content creation, I feel like fits really well into that, especially with us moving multiple times in this past year for my husband's work. It just works really well that I'm able to continue doing something the whole time. And obviously mermaiding has not been as affected by that with dance teaching. I had to leave the studio that I had been at for three years. Um, because the first time we moved, we were two and a half hours away from them. Now I'm only an hour away, so I'm gonna get to sub for them and everything. So I'll get to go back to that. But I have really enjoyed getting to do content creation because I've gotten to explore some more of that creative side and experiment with some other things. So I really enjoy it. Vlogmas has really been a good challenge for that, trying to create so much content and do different things every day. I know I haven't really gotten into traditional vlogging with Vlogmas very much, but I do want to experiment with that with the remaining 12 days. It just takes a lot more time to, to do a vlog versus a sit down and talk video. And I also feel like a lot of the stuff that I do want to talk about on my channel with mermaiding, with my life, all of that just fits better into a sit down and talk format. I do want to vlog more, but it's maybe it's video miss is a better title for what I've been doing than vlog miss because I have been making videos, just not necessarily vlogs. Now in that same vein, I think for the next 12 days and hopefully going forward with YouTube because I do want to keep up posting a lot more content than I was before vlogmas. Not a video every day, that's insane. Um, but I do want to post more. So for the next 12 days of vlogmas, I have got to start batch recording. I, I do that for TikTok. I've been doing batch recording for TikTok. So I don't know why I thought, hmm, for Vlogmas, I should shoot, edit, and upload a video all in one day, every single day. It's been insane. And just trying to cram that into the other stuff I've been doing. We've had family visit, we've had other events. It's, it's just been nuts. And I cannot keep doing that. I've got to start batch recording things. And I think I just need to plan ahead a little better on what I want to do and what videos I want to post. And then I can do that because I've, I've still made it. I've still done a video every day. It's just been really stressful. And a lot of times I'm up really late at night, finishing editing and even sometimes uploading after midnight just to get it up. So I'm really proud of myself for getting it done, but I don't want to continue doing it this way for the next 12 days. So I'm going to switch to batch recording. I, I mean, every small YouTuber, because I'm definitely still small, probably tiny, honestly, is a better word for it, hopes that, you know, Vlogmas is going to blow them up. And I don't know, there's 12 days left. It could happen. But I, I've been, I guess not pleased with the views, but I'm I satisfied. Like I know, I kind of came into YouTube in a weird way. I mostly started posting on shorts. And so I've got nearly 5,000 subscribers as of right now when I'm recording this, but almost all of those came from shorts. And so they're not necessarily coming over to watch my long form content. And that's fine. That's not for everybody. It's just like, I don't expect everybody who follows me on TikTok to come over here and watch long form content, but it is a little frustrating and a little discouraging because if I go watch videos of more established YouTubers saying, oh, this is how to grow your channel. When they talk about different follower milestones, they're saying, oh, and when I had this many followers, I was getting this many views on a video. And that's not at all where I am, but that's because YouTube has changed since they went through this phase of their development. So it's a little frustrating. 
I'm gonna keep it up because honestly, I'm just having fun. And well, yes, it would be nice for this to become my full-time job and to do more content creation and get paid to do this and brand deals and all of that stuff. Ultimately, the reason that I do most of my social media is as sort of a diary for my future self to be able to look back and say, oh my goodness, look at how magical all the stuff that I got to be a part of was. Because I know that this part of my life where I'm professionally mermaiding and traveling and doing all of this stuff isn't going to last forever. And I don't want it to. I, I would like to settle down and, and grow our family and, and do all this other stuff in the future. And I know that at the least I'm going to have to slow down on mermaiding when that happens. It's always gonna be a part of my life. Like, who am I kidding? I'm never gonna completely stop. But I want to have my social media, you know, my TikTok videos and Instagram and YouTube videos to look back on and say, this is what I did and this was the magic I created. And, and hopefully someday to show my kids, like, look, this was what I did when I was younger. And to see how much mermaiding has even changed then, I'm sure. You know, when I was in middle school, there weren't all of these makers. There weren't professional mermaids. Like, Wikiwachi was the only thing out there. And they were wearing homemade fabric tails, and not that many people even knew about them. So, for it to grow that much in these years that I've been alive, I'm sure, you know, when I have a child that's that age, it's gonna be insane what, what all is out there and what all's even possible that we can't even imagine yet. So, I really like documenting all of it. and. Yes, I hope that I, I blow up and, and gain a bunch of followers and all of those things that come along with it. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm pretty content to just kind of video diary my life here. And hopefully, you know, somebody is, is inspired or encouraged by the stuff that I create. And if not, then, you know, I have this great stuff to look back on. So this year brought a bunch of things that I would not have expected. And if you had told me this stuff was gonna happen a year ago, I would have said, you're absolutely crazy. And it's been incredible. It's been scary. It's been very stressful, but I wouldn't change it for anything. So let's start in January. In January, myself and my friends quit the aquarium that we had been working at. It was time for us to move on. There was just a lot of stuff going on and it wasn't the right place for us to be anymore. So we decided we were gonna start our own business, which is now Mermaids of Oklahoma. I'll put us in the description box and, and probably up on screen, all of that. My, my girls are gorgeous, all of my sisters. Um, <laughs> not, not my actual biological sisters, but my, my mermaid sisters here, my Mermaids of Oklahoma sisters. And in February, we did our first few events with the Oklahoma Aquarium and started looking into what we needed to do to make ourselves more professional and really elevate ourselves because that was really what we wanted to do when we left and started our own businesses. We wanted to bring a company of mermaids in Oklahoma to the standard that has been set by other companies on the national scale and we'll get to that. But we knew that we needed to start getting certifications so we started looking for free diving instructors and looking into scuba classes. And I think it was in April that we did our first free dive course and officially legally started the business in March or April. It's, it's all kind of a blur. And this whole time, like we're starting to do events, we are starting to like grow our following and, and get noticed on social media a little bit locally, which was really cool to see because all of us have a performing and, and mermaid background. And so it was really cool to see that this was something that people really were interested in because obviously we're all interested in mermaids, but it was really cool to see that, you know, normal people who haven't necessarily heard of this were really interested in us too. Then come May, we went ahead, we did a group trip down to Austin, Texas and did our next level of free diving. So we'd already done basic free diver and now we've got our free diver and we did some photo shoots and had like an amazing time just traveling together and exploring Austin and some of the cool places around there. And then in June, we hit the ground running and started working on our scuba certifications for wants and wishes. <laughs> ah! 
I still can't believe I get to say that. Like that is, that is the coolest thing. That was something we all talked about this and we were like, that, that was something that was on like our five year plan. And it happened this year. It, it's wild. But uh, also in June, we went to Florida to go see my husband's mom and I got to mermaid swim in the ocean for the first time ever, which was fantastic. And hopefully we get to go again next summer and swim in the ocean more. And I also got to go to the Florida Springs for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna put lots of videos up on screen this whole time. Like, look, oh, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, there was so many people that were just really excited and asking for pictures and asking questions. And just swimming in the springs was amazing because the water was crystal clear. And I just felt so magical. And that, uh, then we moved and I finished up my scuba certifications. And then in September, I went out and did my wants and wishes training. And then October, November was my first trip. And that kind of brings us back up to here. I mean, there's been lots of other little events along the way. I got to do a really fun um, tiki bar event. I'll put that up here. That was super cool and made some great connections there that I hope will lead into some more cool events. But there's been lots of incredible stuff that we got to do. And this year has been really hard and really stressful. And I've had to kind of refigure out what I was doing with my life for a lot of it because so much changed so quickly. We, we moved, all of this crazy mermaiding stuff that I've talked about happened. And so there is a lot of adjusting and a lot of refiguring out different balances in my life. But it's been amazing. And I'm so glad that I started doing YouTube this year because it's been really great to be able to record some of this and know that I'll have this someday to look back on and to remember all of this stuff from this year. Because even now, like some of this stuff wasn't even that long ago and I don't think I could go back and record everything. Anyways, I think that this sort of video will be fun to do at the end of every year, the next several years. I mean, who knows how long I'm gonna stick doing YouTube, who knows? what else is gonna happen when more life changes are gonna happen. But I wanna keep doing this and have this to look back on as kind of a condensed diary of each year and, and the things that happened because I know someday when I'm older, I'll look back at all of this and all of this crazy stuff that I've been able to do and just be like, wow, I, I did that. I really did all those things, that is so cool. And I'm trying to remember to do that in the moment now because the fact that I get to go and be a real mermaid in aquariums is absolutely insane. And if you told five-year-old Megan that, she would freak out. She, I, she literally wouldn't know what to do because even at a pretty young age, I'd been like, oh, I, I wanna be a mermaid, but mermaids aren't real, but that's okay. And <laughs> I wanna go back and shake her and be like, but mermaids are real and you're gonna get to be one and it's not gonna be the way that you think because you don't understand all of that yet, but you're gonna get to do this. I don't know, I just, I can't believe that all of this is actually my life and it's so cool. And I can't wait to share more of it with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today for this little chatty video. If you enjoyed it and you wanna see more of my mermaid content and follow the rest of my Vlogmas adventures, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video um, what your goal for the rest of the year is, what you wanna get done before New Year's, because we're not done yet. And I'll see you next time. Bye. That's making it into the bloopers, okay. That's gonna be nice to edit out of the video, just dissociating for 10 seconds casually. Great. Oh, that's gonna need to, that's gonna need to go out in the middle. And then an outro. <sighs> I wanna put on my fuzzy socks before I go edit. <laughs>